Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing an idea which one of you guys requested from Discord so yeah massive thanks to a Jovian guy um, for requesting this and yeah this is um, what if the solar system had two sun like stars in the centre so I'm surprised we've never actually done this I have to say um, but yeah we're going to be heading all the way to the centre of the solar system to the sun itself for a change not really uh, do much stuff with the sun in the game we have to say but yeah we've got a whole system here and then here's the sun so what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into it here. So we're going to add another sun. Well, it said uh, two sun-like stars, but I'm assuming two suns um, would be fine. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Wait for the add menu to work since it's always very laggy for some reason in the newer versions of the game. So we'll grab a um, sun. I mean, we could use alpha A um, there. I mean, it's, it's, you know, we'll just use a sun. It's fine. So we need to go in a binary with the sun. It probably it could actually mess up the solar system itself, but we'll put it a uh, decent... We'll sort of like... So you would sort of like try and balance it with the sort of shape of Mercury's orbit. So I'm going to go with something about there. So there we go. So that's two binary suns now. So how is the solar system going to work with two of them like that? Because I'm pretty sure if we look at the orbits, yeah, the two binary suns, that's going to that's gonna upset our orbits a bit. So we're going to, uh, we'll stay in trail mode just to see how everything does. But we can immediately see with two binary suns this close together in our solar system, which is built around one star normally, we can see immediately things are not going to uh, plan already. I mean, we don't even have to check any um, if Earth would survive or not, because I'm pretty sure we can tell straight away it isn't. Um, but yeah, anyways, how, how's Mercury itself concerned? It looks like Mercury is getting quite warm. Um, actually when it was approaching quite far so as you can see both of the suns are bouncing off each other and they are just heading outside the solar system since they're traveling at fairly high speeds back and forth um around each other it's like mercury is the only um object which is still um got some sort of orbit going on here as we can see yeah that is a uh very very close at some point so we can see some clouds are starting to emerge on mercury which is something we don't normally see having mercury with clouds it's sort of she's smoking up as well it's that hot but yeah here it is here is, it got, is, it, is there a glitch of ice on it? It looks like there's almost a, um, a shade of ice. It may just be just two stars. But yeah, Mercury with those grey clouds in, in the uh, menu up here. It does look quite cool with um, clouds, actually. But um, yeah, there we go. So we can see it's smoking up the two stars. That's obviously going to hurt its mass a little bit. Yeah, but those, both those suns are pretty much going to be attached to each other. I doubt they're going to break apart anytime soon. And also, if we go ahead and check the other planets, so say Earth, for instance, I'm pretty sure the temperature here, it's not going to do very well. I mean, we can see it's still receiving light. But yeah, it's, it's, it's freezing up already. We have only been going for a very short amount of time. And yeah, we can see the Earth is not doing so well already. I mean, the whole planet is pretty much frozen. I think the only remaining areas seem to be bits of India there, bits of um, Africa as well, a bit of South America maybe. So we can see, yeah, Earth is freezing up. And I'm pretty sure if we just keep it going a little longer, we're going to see those oceans completely give up on us and they're going to freeze up. So let's just speed up a little bit more. We can look in the image up here as well. But yeah, Earth isn't going to do um, very well. And actually, one thing we can do is we can get the... Um, we should be able to get the ice grid, actually. So if we go to... Oh, I always forget how to view these modes. So it's, it, you know, it is surface. And where, where's our Earth gone? What, what's going on here? hope we haven't uh, done anything there. How do we... Yeah, there we go. We want to use this, this menu. Oh, there we go. So we'll get all of our stats up. So just so we can keep an eye on Earth throughout the whole um, video here. So we'll look at water... Depth. Ice thickness is what we want. Um... Vapor, don't mind about that. Elevation. So yeah, I want to keep I want to keep these numbers up. I want to see how that works. So we can go ahead and close Earth now. So there we go. Hopefully, uh, is it why why is it invisible? What did we did we do something auto? No. Composition service. I think I've broken something. Or did I appearance? Yeah, we we seem to have broken Earth. Well, that doesn't matter because we can see it up here anyway. So that's fine. I don't know why Earth suddenly decided to disappear. If I think I may have clicked on something, but I don't know. There, there we go. There we go. That should have. So is it appearing that? No? Okay, well, I don't know. But yeah, we'll stop focusing on Earth. So yeah, we'll get, keep this simulation running. But yeah, we've got all of our stats up now so we can keep an eye on Earth. Um, actually, v speaking of um, temperature, how is Venus doing? So let's just have a peek here. So as we can see, Venus as well, not doing um, too well itself at minus 60 degrees here. So yeah, they're not, not, doing, uh, not doing good at all. Realistic lighting seems to be very bugged up at the moment. I don't know what's going on here. I think we've got that double star glitch um, thing going on. We'll just use directional light. So, yeah, that's Venus now. So, yeah, not doing not doing very well um, at all with Venus either. Minus 60 degrees. I'm pretty sure if we go to our surface, we go to, um, yeah, surface here. Temperature, that's going to, yeah, none of it is in the positive temperatures. It's all in negative numbers now. We can see Earth as well. If we just keep an eye on the um, left here, that doesn't look too good either. And let's just look at the system in general. I mean, orbits, they are completely just destroyed but we can see um if we go on trails we can see the outer planets 
they don't look like they've moved too much. That's obviously just due to the way the distance of light works. I mean, from these guys, the suns would have moved at a later point in time compared to when you're closer to the sun. Obviously, the speed of light and all of that stuff, you have to take that into account. So, yeah, but that once they realise there's no star in the middle anymore, when that once the light has moved and disappeared to them, since the sun is completely gone now, these planets have nothing to orbit anymore. So they're just going to fly away. Earth, uh, it looks like Mars. Yeah, Mars is gone. So the only objects that stay together were... all oh, and the suns are broken apart as well. Okay, so their, their binary didn't last too long. So we can see, yeah, Venus, Mercury, they're the only ones that had any sort of chance of surviving. But we can see, yeah, both suns. What is going on here? I, That's a very strange glitch. I've never seen anything like that. Um, but, yeah, we can see um, both stars are broken apart there. But, yeah, that is a very strange glitch. I mean, there's a new glitch for anyone um, who likes to see glitches. I mean, is that something to do with our Earth, like, disappearing invisible? I mean... I thought, um, if we just look at Venus again, I thought I saw Earth's constant. So you can see I'm moving Venus, but there's like a stationary part that isn't moving. Oh, well, very interesting glitch there. I don't know how that's worked. If we check the ice thickness on Earth, so if we actually head back to the planet itself as well. Yeah, look, that, that Earth glitch, very, very strange. Don't know why it's doing that. So yeah, very, very glitchy. You can see the oceans haven't completely frozen up. It's hanging on at three degrees, but I'm pretty sure if we keep going... It's not gonna. It's not gonna do very well. I don't know how it's still stuck at three degrees. It seems a little broken. If we put it to zero, is that gonna reset it? No. Well, it seems like our Earth is completely broken because there, yeah, that should be completely frozen um, at this point. So yeah, very strange weather. But yeah, you still um, see what would happen. So yeah, Earth aside, all the planets. If you put a, another sun right next to our current sun, try and get them in a binary orbit, it just won't work. But yeah, one thing I want to try is we'll head back into our um, realistic simulation here. So. Let's go back in here, and we're going to try this again, but let's just try, try putting the suns maybe a little further apart. Still inside the orbit of Mercury, because they have to be in close proximity, um, as that was requested. So, yeah, two sun-like stars in the centre of the solar system, so we have to keep it in the Mercury orbit. So, we'll, we'll try going a little further. I mean, if we put it too far, it'll probably just um, really mess things up, but let's try and just try and keep it in the Mercury area. But it's, that's, a, that's a sort of bigger gap now, so let's see how that works. So, obviously, if we look from Earth, we'd have two suns as well. So, yeah, if we just have a quick peek on Earth, we'll just quickly land um, in Africa here. Quickly look around. So, if we look up straight away, you'll see two suns. So, yeah, that is um, pretty crazy stuff there. So, yeah, the, the surface and then, yeah, two suns. So, yeah, it'd be pretty cool to see. And also, the light on the planet is doubled since there's two suns. So, in theory, if this did actually work... Um, and the, this system did actually work and all the stars stayed in the middle, then we'd probably have um, a lot hotter temperatures on Earth just with those two suns um, flying around. That could um, really mess things up. So there we go, put all that back on. But yeah, let's start. So as we can see, yeah, if you put them further apart, the planets will get lured in and just slingshotted out as we just saw. Yeah, Ceres, um, the asteroid belt, they're all going. Looks like Jupiter is getting pulled in. So Jupiter may have had a, survived a close encounter there. It's just it was just in the right place to really hang on there. But we can see the whole, all of the inner planets are just gone. They are flying away. How fast are they going? They really got a boost from the star. So we can see their speed. Uh, we're going to light speed mode. N nothing compared to the speed of light, as we can see. But still, I'd say um, for it to do that, I mean, that is pretty high speed. I mean, six, seven hundred kilometers a second. I mean, look how fast they have flown out. Look, Mercury is almost in planet nine areas already. I mean, that is... That is very, very fast speed. And now our Earth is working. Look, now it's completely frozen. So that's simply what should have happened last time there. But yeah, absolutely insane stuff. And I'll see um, how are our stars. So they're still in a binary. We can see Jupiter's actually... Um Although this is completely going crazy, it looks like Jupiter may be surviving a little better. We've got a few of the asteroid belt objects working here. But yeah, having uh, two stars just so close together like this, that they, they, the solar system will just will not work around two stars. Like we, when we've done episodes before of turning one of the planets into a star sometimes they actually get into a binary orbit with the sun but it's got to be one of the outer objects so say if we put another sun in the neptune area or uranus or neptune area it in theory probably the inner solar system probably would stay intact because the they're close enough to the original sun but when you put both suns so close together inside the orbit of mercury at the center of the solar system that will just ruin your system so yeah completely gone as we can see no solar system left, and they're just gonna can stay in a binary. We've got a few of the few of these solar system objects are still going. So we've still got one of the gas giants. We've got Jupiter there, a bunch of asteroid belt objects, and then that's it. We've got it looks like Saturn maybe heading this direction, but that may just be because the, that's the direction it left the system. And I think these stars will probably just um, put more and more distance between them. Um, them and Saturn. I mean, is Saturn getting sunlight right now? I'm guessing it should be. No, no. Oh, no, because we are quite, we must be quite a far distance, yeah. Because if we've travelled all the way out past Planet Nine area, Planet Nine still barely moved. 
Um, but yeah, we go if we're in Planet Nine distances now. I mean, these suns must be very far away from Saturn. I mean, can we check in the motion? There's no or there's no orbit parent. Uh, oh no, no, 124 AU. So yeah, well, that is pretty massive distance there. Um, and I'm guessing that number's going to keep going up. So yeah, very very massive distance. Um, and yes, yeah, although it does in theory look like oh, it's one of the closer objects. No, it is it's still very far away. It looks like the goblins actually getting pulled in. A bit to these stars, but I doubt it's going to really last too long. I mean, there it is. Oh, it's actually receiving some sunlight, so probably the first time the Goblin here, or um, yeah, TG387, and that's probably the first time this has received a lot of light in a very long time, um, if at all, there. So it's good to see that getting some sunlight for a change. I mean, how far away is it? It's 125, I'm not sure that's right, but it is on realistic lighting, so it must be receiving light from the stars somehow. I mean, looks like it's, I'd say it's about the same distance as Saturn. I mean, it'd say it on there. I mean, I don't know how that's receiving light, but it's good to see it in the light for a change instead of just being in complete darkness. But yeah, how are we doing down here? So both of those guys, obviously, the orbit mode is completely just messed up. But yeah, we can see in the trails, we can still see there's some sort of orbit going on, obviously, between the two stars. We can see um, Jupiter and Pallas there. That's one of the asteroid belt objects. Looks like Mrs. Spock may have been left behind there, that asteroid. But Pallas, one of the other big asteroid belt objects, that's actually... Um, well, I, I want to say it's surviving, but I reckon that's going to get slingshotted. It looks like Jupiter may have been slingshotted um, out as well. So, yeah, even even if some of the objects do last for a little longer, they, it just is not permanent. It is unstable. Anything could happen. It just depends. The stars just have to be in the right place. The planet just has to be in the right place, and then they could be completely gone. And that seems to be the case with Jupiter and Mr. Spock, as they did hang on for a little bit, but now looks like they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Both of the stars were set up to slingshot them out, and then there you go, so they are gone. But yeah, the two stars seem to be doing a lot better job from now, but I'm guessing if we sped this up over and over, eventually, maybe, eventually, they would break apart. But we did see like that in the previous symbol. Obviously, when you speed it up like this, you don't get as realistic um, results anymore. But oh no, it looks like Jupiter may still be hanging on with some weird orbit. It may, maybe it looks like its orbit may have just hanged on, or its orbit's a little further out now. So, yeah, Jupiter is hanging in there. We can see Mrs. Spock's actually hanging in. So they've all got very strange orbits. But they are, in theory, they are still working. You could probably class this as a system. It's two binary systems. Um, we've got three or one planet and two asteroids. I mean, could you class that as a system? I mean, it's got a planet, right? I mean, you don't have to have a lot of planets for it to be a proper system. So, yeah, I'd probably class that as one. But, um, yeah, there we go. So both of those stars completely solar system is gone i mean it's just a bunch of stray objects now and they're all heading off in different directions if we just really speed it up now obviously the two stars they're not going to give us realistic results but yeah we can see from these that eventually these are all just going to break apart and head into different directions of the galaxy so yeah there we go but one thing i do want to try is if we actually spawn a natural galaxy in and then and these will all be inside it. so if we put just put the milky way down so there we go so there we go and now if we just click play how long would it take for any of the objects to actually leave the galaxy? Because, obviously, I think it probably would. So, oh, we can see, look, they are escaping, obviously, where the solar system's location was. I tried to sort of make it relatively where the sun would be, but we can see here they've all just they've traveled very far out the computer is going very slow as we've got black hole and galaxies and all of these clusters and those galaxies are all different now. But you can see the point. So, yeah, they've all just been pulled apart all in different Oh, I think it looks like, yeah, they're all heading in the same direction, probably because we put the black hole in there. But still, we can just see... They have just travelled a very, very far distance now. So eventually, if you sped it up almost at 2 million years now, they are going to travel the galaxy pretty fast at that speed once you pull it up to 2 million. So, yeah, pretty um, pretty crazy stuff. But, yeah, we'll quickly leave that simulation because I know uh, galaxies are they're not the kindest to your computer sometimes. So, yeah, we'll leave that simulation. But, yeah, there we go. So that does it for today's video, guys. So, again, a massive thank you to um, the guy who um, suggested this idea. So, um, yeah, Jovian guy, massive thanks to him. Um, for requesting this and yeah guys if you um, have got any ideas yourselves make sure to let me know in the comments or join my discord server link in the description and you can give me your ideas on there as well just as he did and yeah guys just a massive thank you for watching today's video as well let's um, see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers as we are getting very very close now so huge thanks to everyone who has um, helped us on the journey so far guys and yeah that is everything so make sure you all have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next video goodbye